64 and a half. 64 and a half. So the radius of this in full scale is 322 and a half millimeters. And that's how we figure it out. Now I just have to make a circle 322 millimeters in diameter. Now this is a bit confusing. It looks basically exactly the same. There, 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 there. We also have this confusing text, shape to suit, min width 107 millimeters. Now do they mean that this point should be a minimum of 107 millimeters or something else? Because if you look at this, and you measure it, like so, you get about 17 millimeters. And if my mathematics hasn't failed me, since this is a 5 to 1 scale, 17 times 5 is 85. And if <coughs> I measure this here, it is almost bang on. It's actually like 84. So, what I've done looks to be basically identical to here, but that's not 107 millimeters at all. So, what do they mean, min width 107 millimeters? It's confusing. <sighs> There are a few things about this plan which are slightly annoying. And there are definitely sections where it doesn't seem like they give you quite 100% of the information and you have to like figure it out a little bit yourself. Not that there's anything wrong with figuring out things a little bit yourself, but uh, yeah, there are some slightly ambiguous things and it's a little bit annoying. Try and replicate this ellipse. All right, 120 by 300 ellipse. I know there's a way to draw ellipses with uh, two fixed points and a piece of string. So I'm going to try and figure that out. I've got my major axis here, my minor axis here, and I've got these points here where the curve of the ellipse is going to pass through. So what I need to do is find the focal points that uh, I will stretch my string around to be able to trace it. So apparently, according to the internet gods, the way you find that out is to use half the length of the major axis, which would be that right there. And you go from up here, and you make a mark here, you make a mark here. So these are our two focal points that we're going to put uh, our nails in, or our pins, um, to stretch the string around. Get some pins. You need uh, three of them, I think. Well, that's more than three. Musical pins. All right. Now that I got my pins in there, this is what I'm looking at, by the way. Yes, it's cheating. I've got instructions from the intertubes. I got this thread. I'll need that much, I guess. We'll do. No, that's not 
connect the thread. Let me try that again. This was supposed to be so easy. This is not easy at all, mate. I think maybe my string is a little small. Okay, got this now. It's much thicker. So let's try that. Well, it's on a lips of sorts. But it's, uh, at least on this axis, axis is like significantly higher here and here. And on this axis, it's a little bit. So if I assume that the string is right, what I've got to do is bring it in a little bit here and here. And then uh, hmm. Well, it's not exactly like it looks on the tin, but uh, it's an ellipse. Success? Good enough, boat. <laughs>